Let's see how we can create a GitHub repository and push our code from Android Studio to GitHub. First of all, let's go to GitHub and create a repository. If you don't have a GitHub account, create a GitHub account and sign up and log in and then this is the page that you will see. Now, let's create a new repository by clicking on this button here. Let's give this a project's name. So let's call it PDF Creator. This is our app's name. Now, you can make it private. So if it's private, the only people that will be able to access this are the ones you add. If it's public, everyone will be able to access this repository. Add a description if you want. I'll leave it empty for now. Click on create repository. And once the repository is created, we are ready to push code to this. So what you need to do is you need to copy this command. Now go back to your Android Studio and click on terminal over here. Click on this. Now terminal is open. Now if we type git in it here, a git repository will be created. Now, if you don't have git installed in your Windows system, you will need to install git. Now check the links in the description, it will show you how to install git. Okay, so once we have initiated git here, so as you can see, initialize git empty repository message is shown. If we go back to our project, and if I refresh this, as you can see, a hidden folder dot git is created. Now it contains everything related to git. Now, if this, this folder is not shown, that means that you have disabled showing hidden files so you can click on view go back to show and click on hidden items and your hidden items will also be shown okay so once we have initialized git in our repository you can paste the command that we had just copied hit enter now before pushing to this what we need to do is we need to add which files to push so let's add all the files we want to push right so let's write add and dot so this means that we want to push all the files Okay, now all the files are added. Now, whenever we are in Git, we are making changes, right? We do some changes here. So before pushing, we need to commit our changes. That means we need to finalize which changes to push and which changes to not push. So if I say I write change one here, status now. So as you can see, it is saying there are some modified changes. We need to commit it, right? So let's add this message git commit dash am and write the message first change and check its status again as you can see it will show you the message nothing to commit but this means that we are ready to push these changes now if i make change two here and check its status again again it will show this file is modified it needs to change but if i push now using the command git push origin master so this is the command we need to push right but we have a change here so this recent change that is change 2 will not be pushed because we have not yet committed it only change 1 will put will be pushed because we have committed it so this is why we commit we commit to make sure these changes are final and these needs need to be pushed and this is how you push code to github okay now if i hit enter for the first time it will ask you this and after this time it will not ask you this because the credentials will be saved in your windows system so you can click on sign in with your browser and now you can go back close this and go back to your android studio and as you can see we have pushed to master branch okay now if i check git status as you can see we are on branch master we were on branch master and we have pushed to master we can push to any other branch also but we have pushed to master now let's go back to our github let's reload this page and as you can see, our code is here already. Uh, we can learn more about branches and pulling and everything else, but that will be a very long tutorial. But basically, this is how you can create a repository and push your code to GitHub. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.